Chief Meteorologist Bill Ranby with your accurate weather now forecast. Ranby Factor Time for this evening. I give it a four unpleasant. Even though it's going to cool off dramatically, we still could have a little rumble of thunder, a brief downpour, but the heat is going to come to an end. There's still the heat advisory, though it's a lot cooler already in northeast Nebraska. And the National Weather Service should probably cut off a bunch of these counties because the temperatures are dropping. We've got a severe thunderstorm watch, but we're not going to see much severe weather. Importantly, though, we have a gust front pushing through out ahead of the uh, scattered showers and thunder showers and now entering northwest Douglas County, southern Washington into Saunders County. And our computer model is sort of tracking that leading edge 630 right here, 730 all the way down through Plattsmouth to Beaver Lake. 830 all the way down to Auburn and then out of the area later tonight. A few more showers and thunderstorms develop, especially west and southwest of Omaha. Some of these could put down heavy rain, maybe even some small hail. So we'll have to watch that activity overnight. This is beautiful. This is this gust front. It's an Arcus cloud. Sometimes we talk about a shelf cloud, but this is kind of detached from the thunderstorms. This is just the leading edge of the cool outflow underneath lifting the really hot air out ahead of this. We're still 96 degrees. That's our camera at the TD Ameritrade building in Old Mill. South wind 71 dew point feels like 104. Fremont has dropped to 81 from 95 to came is now down to 79. Norfolk 76 Columbus 78 dew points dropping a little bit as well. And the north winds are blowing. We're going to see the winds blow 30 to maybe 50 miles an hour from the north as this gust front or Arcus cloud moves through the Omaha Metro over the next hour. There's the leading edge right here already through Valley coming into Wahoo right now. It's moved through Fremont and you see it dropping southward. It's just the wind shift south winds, north winds. But behind that you do have enough lift for these spotty showers and thunderstorms and see some cloud to ground lightning. So if you've got outdoor activities, you have to pay attention to that as we could have Occasional lightning and you don't want to be outside in that. This is kind of the southern edge of what's been a nasty line of thunderstorms progressing from South Dakota now into Iowa and likely to track across northern Iowa, southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois through the overnight. The outflow and front pushes south of the Omaha Metro tomorrow. We're kind of in between stuff where it shouldn't rain much. We'll get a few clouds and maybe this will produce some rain or thunder later tomorrow evening. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Importantly, though, the gust front is really going to drop temperatures quickly here this evening into the 70s in the Omaha Metro and we'll stay there tomorrow. Not a lot of rain, but a chance of a thunderstorm by five or a little bit later, especially out to the west of us. We may still sneak up to 90 for a high could stay in the upper 80s, probably stay in the upper 80s on Thursday and Friday and Saturday. So a more substantial break from the excessive heat. Now this cloud looks ominous that's coming on in here. It's dark. I'm getting people saying it's a wall cloud and all kinds of things. It's just the leading edge of some 30 to 50 mile per hour winds pushing across the Omaha Metro, but it looks impressive. All right. Thanks for uh, keeping us calm about this. We'll then. try. Sure. Right. <laughs> coming up in sports.